refuge at Dadab camp before moving to Kakuma refugee camp have now found temporary shelter in Kiambu County, over 800 kilometers away from Kakuma. This move follows a violent attack by South Sudanese refugees in Kakuma, prompting the Ethiopians to seek safety elsewhere. They're currently living in a congested church in Ruiru, which has only two pit latrines to serve the entire group. Ruiru Deputy County Commissioner Julia Storr has acknowledged the severity of the situation and assured that steps are being taken to provide the necessary assistance. However, the future remains uncertain for these refugees. Amen. We've been in the DAP for almost 17 years, some of people 17 years, 16 years, and the DAP. And the government decided they want to close in the DAP because of the Al Shabaab attack. So we agree with the government because we are under government and the UNICEF. We agree for that side that time, and then we relocated to Colombia. This is not a problem, attack happened again in Colombia. Where we can go? We cannot go back to Colombia because Colombia now, our enemy is there. The refugees who came from South Sudan, they were based in our area. We are the one hosting them. After now, they are going back during peace talk. Most of them, they refuse to go back. They, they, they make themselves as Ethiopian by, by, by themselves. We have been living peacefully, even with Nuer and the other communities around. But due to what happened on day 20, during the celebration of uh, World Refugee Day, we thought that it was just a light thing. But those guys, they took it seriously. And then they launched attacks twice on day 24. During the night, and many people were injured. One person were, was killed. And during the morning, and we were ready to go to bury the dead, they came again and they attacked us badly. <laughs> Well, that marks the end of today's edition of News Desk. Hope you are adequately informed. My name is Jesse Rogers. Good afternoon.